honor your commitments. Nowadays, especially with my group, I'm in a millennial group, the millennial class. <laughs> Honoring your commitments and being committed to something is looked as a hindrance. It's something that is really looked down upon. But as an entrepreneur, as a leader, as someone who is building something, you have to honor your commitment. Number one reason is because reputation is everything. Reputation is all that you have in this world. And some people say that you can change your reputation. Some people say that you can't change your reputation. I feel as though that you have a direct control over your reputation because your reputation is based on past actions. See, everyone judges you from your past. When you go to court, they judge you on the past speeding tickets that you got or your past felonies or your past misdemeanors. When you go to your job, they want to see a resume. What is that? A history of your past jobs. Even in relationships. When you get with someone and you're dating them, they usually ask you about your past relationships. Everyone in almost every institution judges you on your past. That's why reputation is everything. And to have a good reputation, you have to honor your commitments. Be a person of action. In these times, I'm telling you, everyone is a spectator. Everyone wants to speculate and talk and debate and lecture about things that have little value, about things that are not even practical, that has no practical use in your daily life. There are few, very few people who are actually doers, who get things done. But if you become a doer, you'll see the world will bend to your will. You have to be a person of action. You have to be a person that get things done. People will remember you for that. Let me give you an example how reputation is so strong. Now, I was doing the deal in Ghana. It's so buying land. And anyone who lives in Ghana, works in Ghana, you know that buying land here is very difficult. There's, it's a very long process because so many people are involved and the paperwork is very slow. But since I was a person who was known for valuing his time and not playing around with his time, most of the paperwork was done in advance. You can win through your reputation. You can instill fear through your reputation. You can instill love through your reputation. Your reputation can put a figment of who you are in someone's mind way before you even meet them. Your reputation is everything. And to have a good reputation, you have to honor your commitments. Do what you say you're going to do. Look, nothing of value, nothing that you enjoy, nothing that gives you extreme satisfaction out of your life. is done so without commitment. Everything you love, everything you value, everything you care about has some element of commitment 
into it. I promise you. Commitment is everything. Being able to endure your commitments can be the difference between suffering a loss from celebrating a win. You lose more being deceitful than just honoring your obligation. And people will talk. Word will get around. If you're a deceitful person, you'll have a mischievous reputation. And people will not want to do business with you, I promise you. Word will get out. Honor your commitments. There's no way around it. Do what you said you were going to do. Be careful what you speak on. Be careful what you bring to light. Because people will hold you up to these standards. People will put your feet to the fire. Especially if you're a leader. So as a leader, you need to honor your commitments. Yo, this is the Gutsy Entrepreneur. If you found this valuable, like, subscribe even, but more importantly, stay vigilant.